G'day. In today's video, I'm going to be putting a Visa mount here onto the back of this older Samsung screen. As you see, we do not have one at all. Its model number is S22B300B. What we're going to need as well is simply the Visa mount that you're going to use, a drill or a Dremel, a couple of screw tips or drill bits. And what I went with was some 3 16 inch by 25 mil. It comes with the nuts. And I also bought some wing nuts as well for it, which will make putting this bit on a bit easier, or at least to the arm. So to begin with, what we're going to want to do is if I move you guys over, we want to remove the plastic trim on the front so we can take it out to get to the back. Now it does feel like you're breaking it, what I do is I usually pull it towards me and pull it up. Give it a seam like that. And the screen itself does have a fair bit of resistance, but don't go too wild there. Try to avoid touching it if you can, which is going to be challenging. But I do tend to fold it out and up. The corner, well, I wouldn't say the corners are the hardest part. That one just popped off quite easily. Now there is a weird tongue thing down there, so we'll ignore that for now. Keep going along here. Okay. I should be able to almost drop that panel out by flipping it over. So I mentioned about no, can't see it there. Also, while we've got this open, we can take this off. Two Phillips head screws. This bit here comes off. The screen itself, do note that when we do go to reassemble it, this bit here does provide a bit of drama. So do be careful of that, or just re remember that when you're reassembling it. And now with the screen out of the way, Taking this back off here. We will also need a black texture. It doesn't necessarily need to be black, but it will be used for marking. Screw. Another screw. Set it on here. Just in case you do want to revert it back to a stand, I would keep it, but it's totally up to you. There we go, enough of that one. What I did with the previous one, as I lined it up, just the sticker. Even though I do believe the, the sticker is actually slightly off-centered. So do choose where you want it to go, but for me I'm perfectly happy with it being centered with the sticker. And from there, I should just be able to use the texture to put some markings on here for the drill. Granted, if you have a decent mount, you should be able to do some minor adjustments of the height or the angle or the rotation of it, so you shouldn't be able to go too far wrong. There we go. Now we'll go over them once more. As you can kind of see, got my markings done. That will be fine. Next up is using your drill. You can usually use a smaller drill bit. You could use a smaller drill bit, drill the hole. If your drill bit, you find it's wiggling around too much as you're trying to drill it, I think it should be okay. Now, 
I am just trying to use minimal force just so I don't go through to my bench, as opposed to using it upright. Yeah. Did go through a bit of plastic here, but that should be fine. I'll probably go through over here as well. Switch back over to the filter end. Have a look up here. One hole, two hole, three and four. I will need to smash away a bit of this plastic here and here. So I will grab a pair of pliers. These ones will do just fine. I should be able, to, be able to break off a bit of that. Same with over here. There we go. And next up. Now initially with these, I was wanting to go nut or screw, bolt, washer, plastic, and then nut. But because this is relatively tight, a very tight fit right here, I don't believe I need to worry about that. Also, I did go for flat headed bolts as opposed to rounded, just so that I don't make any contact with the main board. But as you can see, most of these should fit through fine. I love drama over here. So we'll need to smash away a bit of that too. Drop into there, okay. Just fine. So, if I did go for a slightly smaller size, I probably would have been okay. But I thought these ones look very close and they fit pretty alright. So, if you do go a smaller size, you probably have a little less drama than myself. There you go. I've got the eye, the mounting bracket on the front there. Just holding it and screwing. We should be able to see on this side. We've gone through. And then I'm gonna put the nut over it and tighten it up. So right here. And get you guys a good decent view of it. Just grabbed a smaller drill bit and I'll drill through. Yeah. Okay. To this one down here as it is sticking out on a bit of a crude angle. Not too much I'd say. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I'll take this back out. Straighter. So now from here, tighten up all the nuts. Granted, there are better ways to do it than how I've done it, but it should be fine. You're only looking at the back of you're not looking at the back of the mount, you're looking at the screen. Clamp that again. There we go, that's tightened up. So from here, the reason why I've done it like this is so either the mount can slide onto here or that if it does require these dots to go through to it, you simply use the wing nuts to tighten it, to mount it on there. So for example, so the arm attaches to these outer sections that we've been dealing with. We'll tighten the wing nut on there. It's best to put these on before you put the back cover back on, as it will spin the screw on the inside, or at least for a little bit. Or in my instance, as it went through, as the screw went through the visa mount, it slightly damaged the thread on the bolt. Like that. Same over here. And this top one up here is being a slight challenge. There it goes. Granted, these might not necessarily be needed in the kit you've got. As with this one, I only received just the bracket and was told to mount it. So I'm not sure how it mounts on. I'm going to assume it slides into here, but I would rather not have the customer come in and go, it didn't fit, do it again. So the wing nuts may be redundant, but you get that. This one is being stubborn. Once you've got your mount on the back, what do we need to do next? From here, let's go back and get the original screen and let's put it back together. So now that we've got the original screen, do note that this can wobble around. So I'm not too sure what the best way will be. So I'm going to put it down this way. So if I can slide this in, do note the board up here. In. There we 
we go. Fully clicked together. And there we go. One finished mount on the back of an S22B. Hope this helps you, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.